Hello, my name is Jonna van Eck van der Sluis. I work at the Clinical Center of Excellence for Body, Mind and Health in the Netherlands and at Tilburg University. I would like to give you a short overview of our article Mental Healthcare Use in Medically Unexplained and Explained Physical Symptoms Findings from a General Population Study. We conducted this study because little is known about how physical symptoms impact mental health care use. Those physical symptoms can either be explained in the context of a somatic illness or lack such an explanation. More insight in the mental health care use patterns can give us clues about what is needed to optimize mental health care for these groups. Our objective was to explore how physical symptoms are associated with mental health care use in both primary and specialized mental health care. We therefore compared service use patterns for subjects with MES only, with explained physical symptoms only, with both MES and explained physical symptoms, to controls without physical symptoms. We looked at entry into mental health care and number of treatment contacts once one has entered care. Data were derived from the first wave of the Netherlands Mental Health Survey and Incident Study 2, a nationally representative face-to-face -face cohort study among the adult genera general population in the Netherlands. We selected 177 subjects with MES only, 1952 with explained physical symptoms only, 209 with combined MES and explained physical symptoms, and 4,168 controls without physical symptoms. Analysis were adjusted for socio-demographic characteristics and for the presence of mental disorders. At primary care level, all three groups of subjects with physical symptoms showed entry into care for mental problems significantly more often than controls. The adjusted odds ratio was 2.29 for MUS only, 1.55 for fee only, and 2.25 for MUS plus fee. At specialized mental health care level, this was only the case for MUS only subjects, where the adjusted odds ratio was 1.65. Both in primary and specialized mental health care, and there were no significant differences between the four groups in number of treatment contacts once they entered into treatment. So, all sorts of physical symptoms, unexplained as well as explained, were associated with significant higher entry into primary care for mental problems. In specialized mental health care, this was only true for most only subjects. No differences were found in number of treatment contacts. This warrants further research aimed at the content of the treatment contacts. Thank you for listening.